Hi guys, and welcome to a walk around of a new two bed property we've got coming on here at La Torre Golf Resort. This is a first floor, um, spotless. I don't think I've actually seen a cleaner apartment than this. Um, but let me have a walk through, see what you think about it. This is on the corner, right? So the first thing you notice as you come in the door is obviously you've got the extra window over there. That's the first thing that comes to mind for me. Okay, um, and of course, because again, because it's a corner, I know before I go outside that the terrace is gonna be bigger than standard. This is coming on at pretty much the starting price for the Torrey now, which is about 88 this is coming on at. Um, really, we wouldn't list anything less than that now. Um, that is pretty much the starting price. And this, is, this has got a lovely position. Um, and uh, anyway, I'll walk around and stop waffling. As you know, everything in Latari comes with central heating included. So it's central heating throughout. You've got the AC unit up there. Now that is the original one. Um, so like I always say, um, if you're just using it for a holiday home or something like that, absolutely fine. If you're spending more and more time here, then it's always a good idea to upgrade that unit. Um, or if you rent it, a good idea to upgrade the unit because of course the newer ones are much, much cheaper to run. Um, you've got the kind of dining area on the right as you walk in, and then you've got two two-seaters set up just over here, and of course looking towards the TV, which, um, which yes, is a bit old. Um, Again, you'll probably replace that at some point, but certainly it's okay to use to start with. You know, this style is kind of like a, you kind of walking into like just a basically a big square, kind of rectangular, I should say, room. So very easy to furnish. Um, and with that extra window over there as well, feels nice and bright, it's kind of window, doors, window. So lovely and bright. Okay, let's walk through. So turning left, brings you down to this kind of long kind of hallway leading to the back bed the bedrooms which are both at the back first prop the first room you hit is the kitchen so it's a galley style as you can see um, i can see the the kind of the oven hob and top of the original ones so again if you're just using it as a holiday home absolutely fine if you're using it longer than that you'd probably want to change them lots of cupboard space um, Again, kind of good workspace. I've seen a lot of people add kind of workspace in here as well, which you can do if you need to. Obviously the boiler behind here as always. Don't forget it's a gas combi boiler here in, in Latori. So all of your central heating and your hot water is all a gas combi. Looking out the window in the kitchen, just basically is to the entrance to the actual apartment. We're in Calle Remora here, which is actually one of my favorite roads. Uh, and one I visit a lot because there's loads of lemon trees here. So brilliant to come down and, and nick a few for your G&Ts. Got your washing machine in there. I noticed there's no dishwasher. Um, not everybody puts dishwashers in, of course, especially if they're used for, for holiday homes. Um, so that just gives space for whatever else you want to put in there. Um, and you do have a fridge freezer here just to the left, hidden away. And then coming out the kitchen, almost directly opposite is the bathroom. Nice big bathroom, this. So again, because it's a corner, you've got the, the window, big window. Um, obviously that's just connected to your central heating. Bidet down there, which uh, which I've said countless times. Um, you know, I've just actually I'm just refurbing two of my bathrooms at the moment, and we've just taken all these out. My God, it makes a difference to actually what you can put in the bathroom. But great size bathroom, this. You know, this is one of the bigger ones, and you've got a full size bath there, uh, just with obviously a curtain and shower head there. <clears throat> these are the original cabinets as well, but in very good condition, really good condition. So again, you know, you can obviously keep that to start. And like everybody, you know, you're gonna change things to your own taste, aren't you? I mean, everyone does. It doesn't matter what the furniture looks like. Sometimes I'll go into a property and think it looks great. And then the people that buy it just, you know, kind of rip it out and start again. So everyone has their own taste, of course. Coming out of the bathroom, turn right, and you're up to the back of the apartment. So this is where your two bedrooms are. Now, this bedroom, well, I'll call it bedroom two because this one is slightly bigger. But bedroom two has been set up, as you can see, as an office. So this property is being sold fully furnished. But bear in mind, this is kind of an office area here. The person that's renting here, there's a long-term tenant here. It is month to month. It is actually a family relative of the owner. So they know that as soon as it's sold, it's sold. Um, but as you can see, the actual place is spotlessly kept clean as well. I mean, really spotless. Um, and they know that when it's sold, then they, they obviously move out. But my point is, this is an office space here. So I assume this is probably belonging to the tenant. So just assume that this second bedroom will be unfurnished. So you just have to basically buy a bed and, and some some bedside cabinet kind of things. Inbuilt wardrobes is always over there. Now the pre-installation is in for the AC units, but not actually in. 
Okay, so you've got it in the lounge, but not in this bedroom. We'll check the other bedroom as we go. And then leading off the bedroom, <coughs> you've got these Juliet balconies, lovely Juliet balconies. So they're no good for, for putting anything on them. Obviously you can't put in you know, table and chairs or anything. The purpose of these is just to let in lots of light into the actual property. And as you can see, that's all your lemon trees there. Um, but lovely, and the pool is literally just around that corner. Um, and it's a big pool area here. Right, it's come out. But yeah, the, the, they, what they've done is basically put doors in instead of windows just to let in plenty of light, which is the purpose of the Juliet balconies. Out of this bedroom, turn left, and this is the master. There's not a huge difference in it. There's about a metre difference. Um, it's like about a metre wider that way. Um, not a huge difference, but it's regarded as the master just because it's slightly bigger. But it's pretty much exactly the same room. Obviously, you can see this has been set up as a... So it's a double... Inbuilt wardrobes over there. And this is a storage bed by the looks of it. It looks like a storage bed. Um, you've got like a, a little chest of drawers over there, TV over there as well. And the same sort of uh, Juliet balcony, right? Leading off. And again, purpose just to let in plenty of daylight. Keep the rooms nice and bright. It's actually lovely over there as well. It's all orange and lemon groves. I don't know if you can just see over the perimeter wall there. But as everything with Matari, it always looks very pretty. Very well kept and maintained. Lovely. Right, let's head towards the, the part that most people are interested in. So back down the hallway, let's head towards the terrace. So as I said, when we first started, I knew this was gonna be a bigger terrace because we're on a corner, right? So the corner units always have that bigger terrace. Well, on some styles they do, it depends on the style, but certainly on these styles they do. So it's a nice kind of arched balcony, as you can see. Um, this is around about at least 50% bigger than what you would get in a middle apartment. I love this as well. So the old pallet kind of furniture. Now this is the building next to us, but don't forget that's the back of the apartment, like the Juliet balconies we've just looked at. So no one's ever gonna be there. So it's very private. And the views, looking straight out onto the driving range actually. So it is obviously part of the golf course, but that's the actual driving range there. You can actually see just over there is the clubhouse, like the Indian restaurant, um, the, the clubhouse, what people refer to as the clubhouse, which is the wood house, the Italian restaurant, the Clover pub and so on just over there. Now my friend actually has a, an apartment just next to this one. Um, and he, in the evenings, which is of course when you generally go down to the, to the town center, he walks using the buggy paths. So he literally says it's five minutes, um, basically to walk from here over to the town center. Now bear in mind that's in the evenings, which is pretty much most of the time. I think most people go down to the, to the town center in the evenings as opposed to during the day. Um, so that's a five minute walk. If you did want to walk down to the town center in the afternoon, then you would have to use the roads, the pavements going around, and that's probably 12, 13 minutes or something like that. But this is on Remora, which is a lovely, peaceful road. Right, orientation. So this pretty much is directly north. Okay, so you're not going to get a huge amount of sun on here. Um, like I always say, the sun is all, an awful lot higher in the sky in the summer, so it actually doesn't matter which way you're facing unless you're top floor. Um, you're never going to get sun into your terrace. But the pool, like I said, I think I like I said, the pool is literally just around that corner there. I mean, this is February and it's lovely on here. You know, really, really nice temperature. It's around 22 degrees, I think, today. And you could quite easily sit out here nicely and have a few drinks there. Right guys, price, this is coming on at 87,995. Um, like I said at the beginning, this is about as good as it gets now on Latori. Um, this is pretty much a starting price. <clears throat> the community fees allow 159 euros per month for this apartment. Okay, don't forget on here, that's all of your fiber optic broadband um, in your actual apartment itself at a 50 megabit speed. Um, it also includes international TV stations and it also includes an internal phone line. So there's not really any other costs if you like. You know, if you've got an apartment on one of the other resorts or, or elsewhere, you know, off a resort, then you're always going to cost you, what, 50 to 60 euros per month 
just for the internet and TV. So you're obviously getting that for your community fee and of course the lifts, the pools, the security, the gardens. So you're actually getting quite a bit for your money. Any questions, let me know. As always, I will um, upload the link once this is on our site. Um, so you'll be able to see the images and you'll also be able to see the, the virtual 360 tour. But any questions, let me know.